What is up, bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to an all new episode of Tackle Tip Tuesday. So today on Tackle Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about one little trick that will help you land more fish, maybe bigger fish, and it will help you stand out from the crowd. And if you've been watching any of my Tackle Tip Tuesday videos this season, most of them have been referencing ways to stand out from the crowd and ways to help you catch more fish. So today we're gonna to be talking all about soft plastics and dyes and how to change the colors of your soft plastics to catch more fish. So stay tuned folks, Tackle Talk starts now. All right, folks, so what we're gonna talk about today, I'm gonna show you what I've got on my deck here. So I've just got a real basic selection of baits here. My two favorite flipping baits, I got the Rage Craw, Rage Tail Craw, and the Rage Tail Structure Bug, the Rage Bug, two of my favorite plastics. <clears throat> this one is in straight green pumpkin, this one is in watermelon red flake, which is basically green pumpkin with a little bit of red in it. So right here we got a few other baits. I got a Biowa War Axe Craw in black and blue. You see that baby right there? And then a basic Yum Christy Craw right there in black and blue. And then I got a, uh, and these, these work great the way they are. If you're on a natural body of water, you can flip these. You can flip these on the Mississippi River anywhere you want and you can catch fish. So like right here, I got a chatter bait. This is just a Z-Man original chatter bait with a Strike King Caffeine Shad Pearl uh, boot tail on the back. We'll catch a lot of fish. Here we have a Mike's Mini Flippin' Jig. Um, it's, uh, I just call it brown. It's green pumpkin and brown with a little bit of red flake. Got a green pumpkin Rage Claw, Rage Craw on the back. Here I got another Chatterbait. This is a Chatterbait that Funk Custom Rods made. Um, a really long skirt, I have not used this really yet so I haven't trimmed the skirt up but the the point is it's orange and I got a uh, rage craw on the back and I'm gonna tip them tip them claws orange here in a minute to show you exactly what I'm talking about with using the dies and then right here we got our die box this is how I keep my dies so if you've ever used dies you know that they're pretty messy and they stink because most of them have garlic in them so you're gonna want to keep them in a container so when I first got the Two Fat Tunnel Doors Pim and Crest Liner, I had one container of Spike It, and it was green or uh, chartreuse, and I left it right here in my center cup, um, center console cup holder, and it like started leaking and it got all over, probably from the heat, you know, fishing in the dead of summer, and it made a freaking mess in there. So. As I started realizing that I really liked using that dye, I started buying more colors and I came up with this idea. So all I did here was take a, uh, I went to Walmart and I bought a container that has lockable lids. Take all my pens out. I'll show you what I use those pens for here in a minute. And then I put a, took a piece of styrofoam and I cut holes in it that were the same shape as the, the bottles. And then I just stuck the bottles down in there. It made them a little smaller. So you push really hard to get the bottles down in there. And this thing's tipped over everything and it is, they have not ever come out of there. You got some slop there, you're gonna have that. That's why you use the case. But so as you can see here, I've got four colors in here. I got orange, purple, chartreuse, and black. Those are the four colors I use the most. And if you don't like using um, the dye, if it's really messy, they also make the pens. And to be honest with you, as of the last year and a half, I probably use the pens more. And the reason being is they're a lot handier and cleaner, cleaner on the water. So if I'm prepping for a tournament, I will take a whole pack of Rage Craws and I will dip them with the actual dip in the bottles and then put them back in the pack so that they're ready. But when you're on the water and you're trying to decipher what color the fish want the most, or you're just trying to spice up your bait, that's where the pens come in real handy. And I got a bunch of pens here. 
Um, this one here is black garlic scent, um, orange garlic scent, um, orange and crawfish, crawfish scent. And then I think I bought these in a four pack. They're all garlic, garlic flavor, um, blue, orange, chartreuse, and red. And then these ones here were bought individually. So there's a ton, a ton of different options out there. Um, but I believe that you really need to keep a selection of pens or dip bottles on your boat because they really, really come in handy. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you first is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use these dies. So what I got here, I'm gonna take the lid off the chartreuse one and say I'm catching some fish on this white chatterbait, but they're, uh, they're, they're kind of picky or something, or I just wanna break it up. So I'm gonna take the tail of this and I'm gonna dip it in here Look at that. Now I got a chartreuse dipped paddle tail, which usually you have to buy a separate color for something like that. And I can make them right here in literally a second. Now, normally you're gonna wanna let these dry for about 30 seconds, but you really don't have to. You can do it pretty quick. But if you want the dye to stay on there for the maximum amount of time, let it sit for 30 seconds before you fish it. 25 seconds, whatever. But so now we got a chatterbait that's completely unique. Okay, so another one of my favorite colors to do with black and blue, if you want to stand out, is to do the same thing with the chartreuse. So I'm going to dip in there and just dip the claws a little bit. Now look at that. What does that look like? Kind of looks like a a mixture of a Bama Bug, Okeechobee Craw kind of color. And that's really gonna stand out in the water. Really different. Same thing, we'll do the Christy Craw quick in uh, Chartreuse. Some plastics will um, change colors easier than others. You just kinda gotta play with different plastics until you get what you want. That is fire right there. Absolutely awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the lid off the black here, and I'm gonna take this little jig. This is probably my favorite favorite bait is when I go green pumpkin with black. I really, really love that color. And my black is kinda of getting empty, so this might not be the, the best. Uh, Tutorial for the black, but you get the jiffy. So right there, it's a little uneven, but it'll definitely work. Most of the time, that's what I want. Just like the bottom right there, if you can see that very good. Just the bottom of the claw is black. When you can see over here, I got a little too much on that side. But that is freaking fire right there. You would not believe how awesome that looks coming through the water. Look at that, it's pretty much already dry. Uh, it's sticking a little bit, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I use the pens. So what I like to do, I'll do it with this chatterbait here. So I'll lay it on a container, or on a plastic bait, bait box like this. Then I'll take my orange, and I'll just go over it a few times. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Now I've got green pumpkin with orange tail. Frickin' fall killer right there. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna take my blue. And this is a brand new Green Pumpkin Rage Craw. Rage Bug, I'm sorry. Right there I got like my own custom Okeechobee 
Bama bug kind of color right there. Freaking dynamite. That's exactly how I'll do the black, the purple, any of it right there. Just dip the claws a little bit. So on the rage, on the craw, I like to just do like the base layer of the, the claw itself. On the rage bug, I usually go way up and you know dip quite a bit of it. I don't know, usually I'm flipping this one, um, you know, really quick flips. And most of the time when I'm doing this I'm, with the jig, I'm dragging it or hopping it, you know, and I'm working the bottom and covering an area where when I'm flipping a bait like this with just a tungsten and a EWG hook, you know, I'm flipping, hop, hop, pull it out, flip it, hop, hop, pull it out. So you get a lot more flash off them big, when them big flappers there are kicking and they're showing that blue color, black color, whatever color your chartreuse. Chartreuse on green pumpkin is awesome. It's a great springtime color. So that's pretty much it, folks. It is that freaking easy to dye your own plastics. So basically anymore, unless a new plastic comes out and I just want to try it or, you know, be the first YouTuber who has a video with it out, I pretty much only buy green pumpkin and black and blue for plastics because I can pretty much do anything I want with those two colors. Works for me. I will link a bunch of videos down in the description below where I'm using these plastics dipped and dyed where you can see that it actually really does work. One more thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick. Um, I hooked up with, with Fish USA, and if you don't know who Fish USA is, they're an awesome tackle company online. Um, go to fishusa.com and check them out. They are just like any of the other bigger names, you know, Tackle Warehouse, Cabela's, Bass Pro. They've got tons and tons of fish and stuff, and they only have fish and stuff. Um, pretty much everything you want, they have it there, and their prices are very competitive. They are almost identical to everywhere else, if not a little cheaper. And they have tons of selections and colors and sizes, anything you need. And if you want to help me out, I'm going to start throwing some links down in the description below of the different things that I use. And if you click on that link and you buy them from Fish USA, through that link, you're going to be helping me out. You're going to be helping my channel out and helping me get more gear and better gear to help bring you better videos. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. Destroy that thumbs up button. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.